Hi friends, in this video I am going to explain how to create a bar chart showing this year and last year sales. I will explain two methods. Uh, one way is uh, without uh, writing the calculation, we will use filter shelf to achieve this requirement. So let me drag um, order date to the filter shelf, select relative date and from here choose years, last two years and then click OK. If you drag order date to the columns now, you have current year 2020 and last year 2019. Let me drag category to the columns and then drag sales to the rows. So let me rebuild this view. To compare the current year and previous year sorry we need so now first data is uh, partitioned on the category furniture office supplies and technology and the next level we have year of date 2019-20 so let me change the mark type to bar and drag year of date to the color so now you have the current year 2020 and 2019 sales comparison so another method is writing the calculation to get this year and previous year sales so first write the calculation for this year this year so you know year of function returns extract the year from the date field and today function returns current date year of today is equal to year of order date this calculation returns true if order date falls in this year so let me drag order date here and drag this year calculation to the text so if you see 2020 this calculation is true for 2020 and false for all other years write another calculation for last year so date add function we will use so what date add function returns date add function adds an increment to the specified date so if you give the interval as positive it will increment if you give the negative value as the interval then it will decrement the date so date add of so date part we need to subtract year so date part is year comma so we need to decrement to the previous year so minus one is the interval and today if this one is equal to and from now we have so exactly what it will return let's see so if you see last year calculation what it's returning right click and choose exact date discrete so today is uh, December 18th 2020 so it's giving uh, 2019 so from this calculation we will extract year and click apply you see now we have the year 2019 if it is equal to year of order date then we will get this this calculation will return true for last year okay so now drag the order date and check the output of this last year calculation so we have true for only 2019 and false for all other years okay now our calculations two calculations are working fine so let's create another calculation to get this year sales so if this year is returning true then give me sales for this year and click end. Similarly write another calculation for last year duplicate the same calculation right click and edit. So change rename last year sales. Last year and then click ok. So now we have this year and 
last year sales in two different measures we want the chart to create for each category let me drag category to the columns and add measure names and measure values so because uh, we have these two measures in uh, this year and last year sales are in uh, two different measures uh, we need to use uh, measure values let me remove the extra measures from this view let me drag and drop measure names onto the columns now if you see here we have this year sales and last year sales and to color differently you can drag measure names to the color shelf I hope you understand how to achieve this requirement in two methods. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section. I will respond as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe to my channel.